This is something I thought I'd never talk about on this channel. Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Recent events have caught me up in thinking about something very commonly known as the man code, at least for people around me. The thing about this particular code, though, is it's different for almost every individual group of people. <clears throat> so I'm going to talk about the version that I abide by. Kind of this the rule set that me plus a large group of people who are like me abide by. Um, now the way, the reason I'm talking about this is just because in my past, not just recent either, recent is what triggered me to finally decide, yeah, fine, I'm going to talk about it, but past events as well. Um, I think a good example of how I interpret this thing is how to approach outward scenarios. I think for me, mostly, this particular code kind of, it surrounds um, relationships between certain couples. Of course, since again, it's called the man code, it has, it directs on how specifically men should act. What's frowned upon, what's not frowned upon. This is kind of why I say it's different for different individual types of people. Depends on the way you're raised. Depends on what culture you're from. In turn, sometimes that could also mean what race you are, because sometimes the individual races could have different cultures involved in that. That being said, as I said before, I'm going to go by the one that I personally abide by. So, one, like the number one rule in this particular code for me is don't get involved in things that aren't your business unless the person in name makes it your business. Which is something I see happen people go up against a lot. No particular example in particular because it happens so frequently. And it kind of saddens me. This is kind of one of the reasons why this is part of this the way the way I abide the code is just because every time I see somebody do this, the person they're doing it to gets drastically hurt. And for mo the most part, the person who hurts the individual doesn't give two craps about the person. And in that case, they're not really breaking the man code. But at the same time, when somebody who does care about the person sees this happen, Take it from someone who has experience on this matter. Two things end up happening. One, rage and hatred boils up inside. Not just from the guy, but from the girl or the opposing. If it is a guy, then yeah, from both individuals, I should say. It boils up towards the person who caused the damage. But... At the same time, it sometimes can help the person come to realization on things. But the only way this ever happens is when the person's being allowed to be involved. A good example of this is an ex of mine named Tristan, who unfortunately, as of today, has passed away. She was a good person at heart, but afraid of some things. And she would get certain people involved, certain friends of hers involved, into situations when she didn't know what to do. However, there was one point in time where this did not happen, and it led to, on her end, a very violent outcome. This is not something I'm going to delve too deep into, just because I'm trying to just get to a point, but just long story short, when she didn't involve someone and that person involved themselves, the one who was involved one way or the other beat the living crap out of her. Now, she's never been, she's always gotten attracted to, um... 
pretty bad people. I was one of very few who wasn't, and she did always involve me to a degree, because she would always talk to me about the situation. But one, this kind of abides into, this ties into another part of my version of the man code, where it's not just that, but don't involve yourself any further than requested. Which is another big thing I see a lot of people completely ignore. And these kind of things bug the crap out of me. I don't involve myself any further than what the person it already up front involves me for. If it's anything past that, I'm like, look, it's their business, not mine. I'm not getting involved. And it's always gone well for me when I do that. Then there's the opposing kind of people who are just like, tempted to involve themselves so they do anyway, they get so much hate out of it. It's it's not even funny. And not just the hate that they get out of it either, the fact that they try to involve themselves when it's not requested is frowned upon, first of all, for the most part, and second of all, wrong. Morally wrong. To involve some, to involve yourself in something that's none of your business, you can. I, I probably already get what I'm coming, which is what I'm about to say, just from saying that. I have had several people who have done that, and you take a good look at me, and I'm, I seem like a decent person at heart and all that, but when somebody gets involved in that. You don't want to piss me off, let's just put it that way. I have gotten pissed off, and I've had people who have gotten on my bad side, and it scares that. I don't even get violent on this front, not particularly. It's the way I go about things that scare the hell out of people because of the vibe I give off. Of course... This is from the frustration, and when people see me frustrated, they see the potential of bad. Let's leave it at that. And it, it kind of goes to show this is why you don't want to piss anyone off who's anything like me. And for that case, that pretty much is why I say don't piss a woman off. Which, again, is a big piece of the man code. Like, man code exists to not piss women off. <laughs> or significant others in general, I guess I should say. Especially given nowadays. Which is fine. But that's the whole point of it. Not just for... Like, it's guidelines to properly execute a relationship to not piss the opposing person off. Or downgrade them in any kind of sense. I have, because of following every aspect of it once it was built up, since I've started following each individual piece of it, I have not lost an individual friend unless that friend does not abide by these rules, or this rule set. And quite honestly, that's happened twice. Maybe not... Has it? Yeah, I think it's only been twice. It does not happen frequently. <sighs> but for those who do disrespect this particular code, all I have to say is good luck. Because you're going to have a hard time in life, buddy. Now that being said, this is something I felt would be a good thing to talk about since it was the first thing that keeps coming to my mind for the past week now, actually. Almost a full week at this point. But again, that being said, I'm going to leave this video here. If you have a different idea of how you would interpret it, interpret this kind of code if you're a guy, or if you're a girl and you do agree with like the kind of ideas that I've said, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have a different perspective on it, Go ahead and let me know down there as well. Just try to keep it calming and kindly. Because we're all friends here one way or the other. 
Um, I don't have any disrespect for anybody's alternate ideas. This is just how I was raised and how I look at it. Once again, if you're raised differently, or look at these kind of codes differently, that's fine. This is just how I look at it. Again, let me know in the comments below if you guys think the same or differently or agree or disagree. Uh, or if you have any other suggestions for any other kind of topics you'd like to see, let me know down there as well. Um, Want to check out any stuff that I've revealed that's kind of about me and my personal life or a different kind of discussion kind of thing that I've done prior to this video, click one of the links to the sides over here. Want to want to check out more of that kind of stuff though? I do one of these kind of videos once every three days, alongside with a bunch of video game stuff that I do. If you like any of that kind of stuff, comedic for the video games, sometimes normal reaction. I try to make it comedic, but if I do it a lot, it ends up being otherwise. In any case, want to check out stuff like that? Consider subscribing to the channel. That's what I do all the time. Um, however, in the meantime. I'm going to head off, but I'll see you guys in another video. Bye for now.